Um, what, what's really weird, and this is kind of, uh, I've never told this to anybody, so this is off the record, <laughs> it is that before I took my first full-time engineering management role, I actually um, I had a couple of days off uh, and I watched three seasons of Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Joel Marsden and I'm a technology leader. I, mean, I would say like really honestly that um, I wasn't born a natural leader. I think there are some people that come out of a, you know, the baby Bjorn and they jump in and they're leading. <laughs> uh, and and, and that, that wasn't my story. Uh, I think for me, uh, obviously there was that evolution in practice from, from being a developer, senior developer, kind of managing a virtual team to a, a, a small team to an, an, an organization. It's important and beneficial to question all the time whether or not as a manager you add value. And you know, uh, I'm the most expensive person in my organization. And, and for me, it's, you know, being, being a manager, there's two ways to do it, you know? I mean, you can either be on the wagon or pushing the wagon. And it's very easy to be uh, just there, staying in touch with, with data, you know, looking pretty at the head of the table, um, you know, making organization changes. Um, but at the same time, like, are you really, really adding value? I think for me, the only way that a manager really adds value is by making, you know, having great product ideas, product decisions, architectural decisions, changing people, um, and making initiatives to make the, the, the organization more efficient. Uh, becoming head of engineering for Yahoo Answers uh, it was a, a major challenge uh, because I didn't feel that the organization trusted having uh, a global head, engineering head of a product, a top four product based outside the US. And it took a lot of time to, to gain that trust. And for me, obviously there were organization challenges about rebuilding the team, onboarding the team, building the right culture, but we also faced uh, very severe scalability issues and, and challenges. Agile itself, as a methodology, uh, has not failed. I, I think there's interpretations of Agile that fail. I, I, th I think there's two ways in which Agile can go wrong. I think one is when you have very traditional managers who come from waterfall backgrounds and they are kind of they don't really believe in Agile, but they're trying to make it work for them. And traditionally, the main thing you'll see is they'll be take, taking work and chunking it into two weeks sprints. The other extreme are kind of Agile acolytes, <laughs> you know, like me, I guess. <laughs> People who actually treat Agile not just as, as a methodology and tools of making things work, but they treat it as a religion. The most important thing to me for Agile are the cross-functional teams. Cross-functional teams, team ownership, having the backlog to the horizon and having continuous delivery. It all kind of starts with the Jetsons. <laughs> and um, I don't know if anyone's uh, seen the Jetsons years ago, and uh, obviously it, it, it involves a lot of our thoughts about what society looks like. And, and what kind of society looks like is that people go around in flying cars and there's automated windows and stuff. And, <laughs> and that's not life as it is today. When, when you look around life today, and um, you see that other than the smartphone and the PC in the corner, very much life looks the same as before. And, and one of the determinants behind that is that information technology has moved ahead a lot more than our ability and our productivity in construction and manufacturing. So we've had in the last 30 years a trillion times increase in processing power. Uh, and that's in many ways been the kind of second industrial revolution. But one of the kind of ideas that, 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 that excites me is what would happen if we had a similar leap in productivity in construction and manufacturing that we did you know, in, in IT. What happens if we were a trillion times better? <laughs>